I do not call any place home. I travel 100% of my time. I don't own an apartment. I usually sleep about four or five hours a day. I don't have a family and in silico is my life. My name is Alex Javrankov, and I'm the founder and CEO of a company called Insilico Medicine. I specialize in AI-powered drug discovery, so developing artificial intelligence solutions to accelerate the way drugs are discovered and developed. Around 2013-2014, deep neural networks became so powerful that they started outperforming humans in image recognition, text recognition, and many other human tasks. The public perceives AI as something magical and uh, something that may replace human intelligence in daily tasks. It's actually not far from the truth, but what AI really is, is mathematics and neuroscience. To me, AI represents hope. To us, AI is a tool which allows us to go into drug discovery much faster, go after much more challenging biological and chemical problems with higher confidence, and reduce the risk in drug discovery and also increase the probability of success in clinical trials. The pharmaceutical industry is extremely risky. It takes decades to develop a new drug and bring it to the market, and you fail more often than you succeed. So you really need to be the true mixed martial arts fighter in pharma in order to succeed. What we have done at Encilico so far, we've demonstrated that we can go from disease hypothesis all the way into clinical trials with very high probability of success. So we actually validated our AI utilizing our own therapeutic programs going end-to-end -end from the very risky part where we discover and uncover a novel and validate novel targets, all the way to generating our own novel chemistry with the desired properties. And we've managed to do it at a fraction of the cost and time. Most of the companies in our field started experimenting with end-to-end -end systems around 2019, 2020. So it has really been only two, three years. So we started utilizing the same technology to generate novel molecular structures with the desired molecular properties to prosecute those biological targets that we identify using a different form of AI. On the 14th, we are releasing our Pharma AI update. The future is much better than you think and also much faster. AI will definitely de-risk, democratize, and enable new entrants, including younger countries who have never had any experience in drug discovery, to get into biotech, to join the community, and to start innovating from get-go. I believe that in 20 years, we're likely to see AI systems going after personalized drug discovery, where drugs will be tailored towards a specific individual.